With the springtime blooming comes the season of Lent, the 40-day period in preparation for Easter when Christians believe Jesus Christ was resurrected from the dead. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of this sacred Christian season. So uh, on Ash Wednesday, lots of churches will have services where you can go and get ashes put on your forehead. And those ashes are actually burned palms from the Palm Sunday the year before. And the ashes are supposed to symbolize like our just remembering that we are frail and that we are mortal beings and just reminding us um, that like from dust we were made and from to dust we will return. And just to remind us also that like ashes are were also a symbol of repentance. So it's like calling us back to like remembering all the things that we do that sometimes don't allow us to be like the best person that we can be. So it calls us back to remembering like, okay, you know what? Sometimes I gotta, I gotta do things a little better. So it's like an outward sign of what we're trying to reflect on internally. So Lent is the period of time in Ash Wednesday. It's like the first day that it starts. Those who observe Lent often give up something to turn away from life's distractions in order to focus on their faith and improve themselves. Lent, uh, when it comes into the classroom on Ash Wednesday, if I go to Mass before uh, class starts, I'll have black ashes on my forehead. And many students may say, yeah, why do you have dirt on your forehead? And then that leads into another discussion. But um, it affects my daily life, ideally, if I choose right, um, the things that I'm going to change in my life. It means I think I have to be mindful of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it at least once a day. Giving up meat is a common sacrifice for many, especially among Catholics, who are the primary celebrators of Lent. It's I generally stay away from meat on every Friday. Usually I give up a lot of meat during Lent. I don't eat as much meat as I usually do, but yeah, that's usually what I do for Lent. Sometimes, sticking to one's sacrifices throughout the entire Lenten season can be a challenge. Making more reasonable sacrifices can ease the burden of keeping one's Lenten sacrifice. So sometimes we set ourselves up for, um, you know, maybe not the, the most easy or the best thing that we should do. Really during Lent, we're supposed to be focusing on like, how, how can I convert myself back to like being the best person that I'm supposed to be? Like with, with the time for us to focus on, um, maybe those things that are our shortcomings and we want to get better at. So when we get like when we don't succeed in doing our sacrifices we shouldn't discourage ourselves that's the most important thing because discouragement doesn't help us to like to grow so during lent we're, we should focus on those ways that we want to grow so sometimes you give up chocolate but that's not really helping us always like recognize those shortcomings that we have in our life so sometimes it's good for us to do other things like i'm going to commit to spending 10 minutes a day listening well to somebody or i'm going to do something that's like helping me to see how I can become a better version of myself. For those who have trouble keeping their sacrifices, picking yourself back up and trying again is the best thing you can do. So I think um, the first advice would be to not, don't discourage yourself. You know, don't, don't beat yourself up because you haven't perfectly been keeping on your sacrifice. Um, and I think the other thing is to like, if you fall, it's okay, get back up and start again. Just keep going. It's, it's more about Get, it's more about the journey than it is like, oh, did I meet all my milestones? No, I mean, we're, we're going to fail sometimes, so that's okay. Um, and then to pick something that you can reasonably accomplish. Like, it should be a little bit uncomfortable, but, but something that you, can, that you think that you can probably do so that you, don't, you can set yourself up for, for more success.